Nell'arco della mia vita, i dieci anelli hanno dato potere alla mia famiglia. Se tu li vorrai un giorno, dovrai dimostrarmi che sei abbastanza forte da indossarli. Sei il prodotto di quelli che sono venuti prima di te. Il retaggio della tua famiglia. Sei tua madre. E che ti piaccia o no, sei anche tuo padre. Hi Fala, hi Fala Hello. Jen, hi Lucrezia, I came from Rome, Italy, and I fight for Dire Giovanni. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I love Rome. <laughs> oh, me too. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, in this film, women give and risk their lives for family and friends like Katie or Jiang Li and find a way to learn how to fight even tough women are not allowed to. Uh, here the female characters take the way want without waiting for a change in a culture or laws. Should this be the case in a real life as well? Absolutely. I think women are taking charge. Women are powerful at the same time. They provide this nurturing um, um, energy to, to the space, to their family, to people surrounding, even to work, you know. I feel like women always have to take care of other people, um, but it shouldn't be a default. It should be appreciated, but it should be, you know, we shouldn't always look at women in such light that, you know, we expect them to do that. But in this film, I'm so glad we got to see different types of women um, where, you know, my character Lee, who is very nurturing and loving and but strong at the same time. But, um, you know, uh, Sha Ling, uh, uh, created by Meng Arjang, and she is fierce. She is sharp. She knows exactly what she wants. And there's, you know, a lot of you know, mystery behind her story as well. And there is uh, Nan, who's played by the great Michelle Yeoh. I feel like Michelle's version, even though we came from the same village, she, she has her own character as well. So yeah, I just love all these women together and I hope we see more of them. I don't know if you, you know, if you would like to, but I would love to see more of these women maybe in an independent film of all of them coming together and, you know, using their superpowers. This cine comics makes us discover the charm of tradition and legends passed down from generation to generation. These elements have been somewhat lost over time. What do you think that is? I think tradition is so essential to any culture, um, not only in the Chinese culture specifically, but I think, you know, even in America, you know, who has a short history, I think there is still tradition and that shapes who we are, our point of view of the world. Um, and I think it's important to not only understand your own tradition, but it always is, you know, beneficial to be curious and to learn about others' culture as well, then, you know, then in, re in retrospect, you understand your own culture and yourself very well. And I think this film does a great job in blending the East and the West. And in, you know, we filmed, you know, this all over the world. And we have a cast coming from, you know, many different parts of the world. Um, and it's just kind of great cultural melting pot. What does Shang-Chi represent to you? Shang-Chi represents a life-changing, you know, experience to me personally, but I think for the audience, I think it's not only entertaining, it's amazing to watch, but at the same time, I think it's, it's groundbreaking uh, because of it's one of the first um, all Asian led um, superhero film in the Marvel Universe and uh, hopefully it will become a classic and it will, uh, you know, break boundaries and it will, you know, give our children, our next generation, many Asian superheroes. Fala Chen, thank you for your time. It was a pleasure talking to you and bye. Ciao. Ciao. Gracias. Volevo un nuovo nome, una nuova vita, ma non potrò mai 
sfuggire dalla sua ombra. Figlio mio, non si scappa dal passato. Volevi questo? Puoi farcela! Grazie. Le affoli. Right hook.